So who here thinks that steroids should be allowed back in baseball? Who here doesn't think that steroids should be allowed back in baseball? See, when you watch baseball, you tend to get pretty bored, unless you're a baseball fan like me, of course. You tend to get pretty bored unless it's a home run hit. That's why if we bring steroids back into baseball, imagine how much more entertaining the game will be. I'm Braxton Worley, and I've, I play baseball here at South. I've watched baseball from the like back of the steroid era in the 1990s and baseball now, and just seeing the difference and going to games, you can just tell how much different, how much more entertaining it was back then because of all the home runs hit and just how much the, how higher the score was. Now, I'm gonna try and persuade you guys to try and show you why we should bring steroids back into baseball. Now, the problem with steroids is there's a few problems. The first one is high schoolers. They see professional athletes take it, so they want to take it. They see people like Mark McGuire have forms the size of your calf. They want to try and hit bombs and be as big as him. But they don't know the health risks and how it's increased your injury. Injury risk and your health risk, and it causes a shorter span if you play in the game. And the body just can't handle how many steroids, or steroids in general at that age. Healthfundingresearch.org stated that four to 10 teens are inspired by professional athletes in order to take steroids, which just shows that pros are the, one of the main causes for athletes. Amanda Woner, who has a PhD, who works for Fox News Health, talked about how the heart and liver with steroids. And this says that the heart is not designed to take that much testosterone into the body. It'll grow normally, and the testosterone is broken down by the liver, it'll accumulate, and then just flat out damage the liver. Now, another consequence is if you play MLB, you'll have, there's three offenses for steroids. The first offense is a 50 to 80 game suspension. The second offense is a 100 to 160 game suspension, which is the whole season. And the third offense is a lifetime ban of baseball. Just a couple of players that have been caught with that are Ryan Braun, he had a full season. Manny Ramirez, who's played for the Boston Red Sox twice, and Marlon Byrd, who I think played for the Angels. See, but kids nowadays, they're a lot smarter when it comes to steroids. They know that how much they should take because how much technology and all the internet sources, they know how much you should take, what you <coughs> should take, what you should not take. Denise, Denny Carice for Huffington Post, talked, who follows statistics, said an increase of OPS, which is on base plus slugging percentage, an increase of 100 will increase $2 million in your contract bonus. I mean, who wouldn't want $2 million more dollars? Which that will equal to more players, which equals more home runs, which equal more fans to the game of baseball. See, the cause and effect now is high school kids, again, high school kids, they'll see pros do it and they want to try it but they don't know, again, the health risk and the injury risk, the increase of it, and it is terrible for your body. But, and also, say you take steroids that affects three people, the fans, because say you're a star player like Ron Braun, you want to see him every day in the ballpark, but you won't be able to because he's not there because he's suspended. It affects the player itself got suspended because of what it does to their body and that they won't be able to play the game that they are paid to play and the team, because say they need their star player, they're not gonna be there because again, special. But the opposition to that is there are other uses for steroids such as trying to get just absolutely huge. There's decadurbin, decadurbalin, which is a re uh, the recovery and joints, of steroid, like a steroid for recovery and for your joints. Then another example is uh, duradolin, which is the same purpose of recovery for your joints. Now, the solution is there are three reasons why we should bring back steroids. More fans, a longer career, and a less risk of injury, and then more entertainment for the sport. Zachary D. Reimer for Baseball Reference, who does statistics for the whole MLB, says there's 83 40 home run seasons from 1996 to 2001. And that's out of 310 40 home run seasons in the MLB history. That's almost one third just from that five year span, that's almost one third of 40 year seasons in the whole MLB history. Now, oh shoot, there you are. So, Sosa McGuire, which is right here, the home run race, they, people call it the home run race of the century. It was in 1998, and it was a battle between Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire. McGuire had 70 home runs, and Sosa had 66. And it brought more viewers than the NFL total 
which just in a regular season, which is unheard of, because most because most fans watch MLB when it comes to the postseason, like the World Series, and that's even a stretch. Nicholas Martinez for Bleacher Report, who will follow the steroid era, talked about the Sosa McGuire era, and they said that is the greatest season of baseball ever. They broke records in TV ratings and broke stadium, stadium seats record in the regular season. Now the opposition is. Why, why, would, why would we give, if players can hit the long ball now, why would we give them steroids? Like, what's the point? Well, they only do it, the most in a game, I think, was 19. And that was with steroids. The most without, I think, is last year, was seven. And, but imagine how much more entertaining it was the alarming rate of steroids if we bring them back. And how many records we broke for fan attendance and for, and for um, fan attendance and for the players. See, again, most people only watch baseball when it comes to the World Series, and that's even a stretch. But Mark McGuire said it best, chicks dig the long ball. <laughs> the long ball, a.k.a. the home run. The first home run was ever hit by the Chicago White Stockings, which is now Chicago Cubs, in 1876. There were 6,105 home runs hit last year, which is the new, which is the MLB record. And Barry Bonds has the most with 672 who happened to take steroids. Now I just ask you guys, let's please let's bring the entertainment back into baseball. Let's have healthy. Let's have players be healthier, and can't wait to play more. And I asked you guys to sign this petition too. Now the problem is again the health risk, and people get too big. But with steroids, you can decrease injury and have careless problems. And baseball in the nineties is way more entertaining than it was now. And just think, if steroid, you get people get steroids illegally to get bigger, but they can get trouble, can't play. Just imagine if you make it legal and people can play for years and becomes the most watched sport in the world. Thank you.